I have always wanted to teach as well as perform. It was a very conscious, purposeful intent to have dual careers as an educator and as an artist. Teaching keeps me honest in my work as an actor and trying to find opportunities and continuing to challenge myself in that arena informs my practice as an educator and a scholar in the classroom. I love when I'm doing something and it aligns when I'm teaching so that students can actually come and see um, uh, the work that I do on stage and to meet the other artistic directors of the theater or the other actors that I happen to be working with in the ensemble or whatever the case may be because I think it broadens the scope. It demystifies Oh, what is this thing? You know what I mean? When we're when we're in the incubator of the training process and that transition from doing that work into the professional arena, I think having those opportunities, having those conversations within the classroom where appropriate, as well as those opportunities outside of the classroom to share the work, the professional work with the students, um, helps to demystify what it is. I'm a huge advocate and, and, uh, of being trained um, and being a trained actor and being a smart actor because it will separate you from the pack. I very much want my students to feel empowered so that they can truly be active participants in their own learning. I, I fervently believe that what creates the drama is when the unexpected occurs. I try to um, draw parallels as much as I can to how we do and what we do in the empirical, practical application of what we're doing, as well as the analysis of what we're doing so we can understand what we just did, and how all of those different uh, textures and dynamics actually can be practically applied directly into the monologue or the scene work or what we happen to be exploring, those acting tools and exercises. I want to give my students things they can use. My name is Anita DeShield Sparks and I am an Associate Professor of Theatre Practice at the School of Dramatic Arts.